These are solar pathway lights. Noobs like to buy these because they think they increase the prettiness and value of their house. Well, I'm about to go through Home Depot and tell you what pros realize creates value and what noobs think creates value. LED pathway lights don't create too much value because they don't create too much light after all. If you actually wanna create light, wire them in or do what the pros do and don't do it because the odds of you getting a buck more for rent or a buck more for resale value, pretty low. Now, if you're tempted to spend money, let me be real with you. The worst thing you can spend money on is a cheap fan. Spend good money on things that move. Save money on things that don't. I'm a big fan for motion lights, but a pro once told me noobs will get the LED motion lights. Pros will get the regular bulb lights, not only because the fixture is only like $19, but if the bulb breaks, the tenant has to replace it. If the LED fixture breaks, the landlord has to replace it. Now the noob takes that advice over here and gets these really hot halogen work lights. Terrible lights to work under. You will sweat your bum off and you won't want to do anything anymore, especially when it's dark in the house or nighttime. You gotta get the LED ones if you're gonna be working under the lights. Now a lot of noobs will do do-it-yourself projects like adding under cabinet lights where pros realize it ain't gonna increase the value of the house. Forget under cabinet lights. Now, still to this day, I hear people say, oh, I don't wanna get LED lights because they're too blue. I don't like that look of LED lights. Well, they don't realize you're supposed to get the LEDs that give you a warm light, which is 2,700 Kelvin, not these blue 5,000 Kelvin ones. You can usually determine which one it is by looking right at the side. See this one? 3,000. I wouldn't get it. I get the 2,700. Now, a lot of noobs go into buying fixer-uppers and then immediately they spend all of their equity on throwing in a new custom kitchen. I personally like coming over here. Look at all these off the shelf cabinets that have that beautiful gray color you're probably looking for. And you know what? Even though some of these are thermofoil, they'll last you, especially since a lot of these have lifetime warranties. And look, I get it. A lot of the thermofoil ones had a bad reputation in like 06. Well, they've gotten a lot better and it certainly beats staining all this stuff by hand. It's not worth the time. Probably the worst newbie offenders are people that go, I'm gonna start tiling myself, it's porcelain, it'll last forever. Yeah, I've seen so many of these do-it-yourself projects. 90% of the do-it-yourself projects with these porcelain tiles look terrible and reduce the value of the property. Had they just left the crap that was there before, the property would have sold for more money. It's kind of sad. So this is not easy, okay? Look, it could be nice and beautiful, but this is also kind of like a 2010 fad. It's kind of out now. Pros know that. The pros are using luxury vinyl plank. Which by the way, if you ever have questions on what's a new version or what's a pro version, remember, you can always meet me in the real estate investing course. We go live twice a week, and that's my job to help you fill in the gaps. And people really seem to appreciate the customized, personalized help. Course members always get priority. Link below. You wanna know the best way to get a deal on an appliance, especially for a rental property? You come look for these floor models, especially ones that have these little dents like this. You can oftentimes get these things negotiated down to below cost, sometimes 50% off. Because no newbie home buyer wants it with a dent. The pro looks and goes, I'll put a magnet on it. It's literally still the same product. Although a lot of pros just make the tenants supply their own fridge. <laughs> I guess it applies to like stoves and dishwashers too though. It's actually kind of shocking how many damaged appliances there are here, especially these with like a side damage that doesn't matter at all. This one with the TV in it has like four or five dents in it. I bet you you could get that thing for like 500 bucks. Nobody else is gonna wanna buy it. <laughs> get a lot of magnets. I have a little bone to pick with sinks. Copper is a nightmare to maintain. Stainless steel, dents and scratches like crazy. Porcelain is okay. It scratches, but you can repolish it or fix them. My favorite though, honestly, get one of these like stone quartz sinks. These things are like indestructible. Unless it's a rental, then just get one of these cheap like $99 sinks or whatever. And if the tenants screw it up, it's on them. This is honestly probably where most people get ripped off. They go down this aisle, they get excited about doing crown molding and fancy casements and all this stuff. You don't need it. You need basic craftsman molding around your doors, windows, and the baseboards. As far as crown molding, if you're even thinking it, you're wasting your money. A lot of people freak out about like the potential for roof leaks and holes in the roof or whatever. And they don't even bother to realize they can buy this whole pack of shingles for $34. Come on folks, pro moves. 
they got plenty of options for you. Another thing people really freak out about is anytime lumber starts having tears or rips in it, or they need to structurally support something. And they don't realize that you can buy these little A34 framing angles for like 35 cents a piece, or little tie plates for maybe 50 cents a piece. But you do have to use the correct hardware to actually use them appropriately. And then you get some really amazing connections for a super cheap price. Simpson hardware, pro move all day long. In fact, have you ever heard of the need to bolt a house to the foundation? Well, these are retrofit plates. They literally hold your foundation to the plates in a retrofit style. <laughs> this thing's $17. It's not even that much for what you get. Probably one of the bigger offenses is people spend money on appliances that they're really only going to use once and they won't use again. And then they start getting like really large and heavy things that seem like great ideas, but then you have to store them and maintain them. I usually recommend when it comes to this kind of stuff, just rent it and see how often you really use it. Unless you're a pro and you're using these on a regular basis. It's just not worth storing all this crap. Now the noob spends a fortune replumbing their shower so they can have two shower heads for themselves and the missus. The pro comes over here and gets this $50 shower head that gives you two in one. You could even spend $88 if you wanted to. Now by far the biggest noobs are the people who buy dated stuff and spend all the time and labor and money putting in dated cabinets or brass fixtures or six panel doors. Folks, before you spend money on a remodel, go to like house.com and look up what's actually in. No, it ain't gonna be in for 30 years. Nothing's in for 30 years, but don't get something that's dated today. That's a big noob mistake. See, I'm a real estate broker and I get people that are like, Kevin, look at these awesome cabinets I just put in. I did such a quality job. I used the laser level. I used the best quality hardware. And I look at it and go, bro, who cares? It's dated, <laughs> it created no value. See this awesome subway tile? Yeah, it's actually not tile. It's actually a fiberglass single panel that comes as a set of one, two, three, four sets. Piece it together, you're good to go and you're not tiling anything for way cheaper and way faster. That's money in the bag, pro move right there. Tiling all this crap, floating a shower pan, <laughs> noobs. Professionally installed turf costs you about 10 bucks a foot. I'd rather put in the real stuff for two bucks a foot, and if the tenant kills it, I charge them. That's the pro move. The noobs overspend on landscaping. In fact, if you ever pick up the phone and call a landscaping company, look, maybe it'll make you feel good when you have those barbecues, but realize you're spending money for yourself, not for value. In fact, if you spend 50 grand on a landscape remodel, an appraiser might give you five grand back if you're lucky. Yeah, that's the principle of over-improving and comps will weigh you down. Look, a lot of people are anti-carpet, but honestly, in most median and below median priced rentals, carpet's fine, especially for bedrooms. It doesn't make sense to spend all the money for tile or hardwood or laminate, especially when you can rip out carpet and replace it pretty dang cheaply. And heck, the tenant ruined it. Always that security deposit. <laughs> See what the theme is? You know, last time I did a video like this, people complained that I said, oh, why would you spend five, six bucks on hardwood floor? I wanna build something that lasts. I wanna build something with quality. I want something to be proud of. And I look at it at, bro, I am proud of making money on my quality rental properties, but I'm not putting in five to six dollar over improved hardwood floor. I can get the same mission accomplished, get the same return on my rental property, in fact, even better, for a buck 99 a foot while you're spending $6 a foot. Congratulations, you might feel better, but I've got more money in my pocket to go buy another deal. And that's why I'm here shopping at Home Depot and Lowe's making videos because I'm making money on deals. Ah, oh, tiling, probably my least favorite aisle. Why? Because it's labor intensive to install. If you mess it up, it looks bad. And quite frankly, it's a waste of time and money when there's so many other great options compared to tiling. My favorite, those wall panels and fiberglass. Remember folks, this is geared towards a rental property and investment property. And if you're telling yourself, well, I want the fancy North Point gray stone for my bathroom and I want my feet to stand on this, great. But realize you're spending money and you're not getting much of a return because your feet don't know the difference. A lot of noobs think you need to spend a fortune on things like ring cameras and other home protection devices when in reality, all you need are some fake cameras. This is 1997, this is 1572, and a burglar ain't gonna know the difference. Pros also like to use timers to change when lights turn off and on, especially when you're not around. 
Ah, paint, probably my favorite place to talk noob versus pro because they actually label the cheaper paint pro. But that's not exactly what I'm gonna talk about. Instead, I'm gonna talk about how you can buy this white maintenance paint for <laughs> $31 for a five gallon jug. That is less than $6.30. Well, it's $6.28 per gallon for flat ceiling paint, closet paint, garage paint. We use this all the time. It's great and it's super freaking cheap, especially since most of the time you're spending over $100 for a five gallon bucket. At 31 bucks, that thing's a bargain. Another super common newbie mistake is not using the right primer. This is by far my favorite cover stain oil based primer right here the bomb. This stuff covers everything and then you don't have to worry about that darn peeling you get on those doors or moldings. If you ever find yourself in that aisle with that stain, you're probably doing a project that's not designed to make you money. You're probably doing a project because you want to update some furniture, which is fine. It beats buying new furniture. In fact, the biggest scam in real estate, in my opinion, is furniture. Don't even put me in a furniture store to do a new Boost Pro, okay? Go to Tajay, get your furniture there. If it ain't at Tajay, I ain't buying it. Okay, Pier 1's gotten better, but if you ever walk into Restoration Hardware, He's just throwing money away. And I'll tell you, if there's one place that noobs lose the most money compared to anything else in real estate, it's outside. Putting in plants and stuff that's gonna make him feel good. Stuff so they can tell everybody they've got a gardening habit when in reality that gardening habit lasts about three weeks, maybe three months if they're lucky. And then everything just turns into an aphid farm and the pros know that they stay away from all the kind of customized landscaping. Find the stuff that grows slowly, needs the least amount of water, and the least amount of trimming. Electrical and plumbing, probably the place people make the most newbie mistakes, leading to electrical arcing issues or, well, plumbing leaks. Quite frankly, most people would be really wise if they were going to do do-it-yourself work to just pay a plumber or an electrician to come check their work. Throw the 200 bucks on just to have the safety check. It's worth the $200.